Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to apply solving quadratic equations when given word problems. Okay, so this would be more like a quadratic word problem. So let's say I give you a situation where you have a building and the building is 48 feet tall. Okay, so how about we, call, we give that location a name? How about we call the height of the building H naught or H sub zero, however you understand it uh, to be called. Um, so we're going to call that the height of the building H naught, okay, or H sub zero. Now let's say an object is launched from the top of the building, like a ball or something like that. So we take a ball and we throw it from the top of the building and it eventually lands on the ground. Okay, so this is ground level. The ball is thrown. It, at, at some point it reaches a maximum height. reaches the maximum height here and at some point it hits the ground okay so it, it travels it travels it travels and sometime at some point it hits the ground okay um when it's thrown off okay so you know like if you take a ball and you throw it you can throw it at a certain velocity so i can throw it like gently or i can throw it with a little more power. So let's say that it was thrown at a velocity, and we're gonna call this velocity V naught or V sub zero. Let's say we threw the ball at a velocity of 64 feet per second. Okay, so we threw the ball and we threw it with a with some power at 64 feet per second. Now at this location, this is what I would call my max height. Okay. And this is what I would call my ground level. So it's like zero feet, right? Okay, so I give you all of these pieces of information. So the equation of an object's height, h, given at time t is h of t is equal to negative g t squared plus v naught t plus h naught. Okay, now right away, let us identify what each, um, each pieces of information of the equation represent. So T stands for time. Our H of T is equal to the height Time t v naught or v sub zero stands for initial velocity. And our h sub h sub zero or h naught is the initial height. And what, the, what is our G? Well, G is one half of the force of gravity of the Earth in feet. Well, what is the force of gravity of the Earth in feet? The force of gravity of the Earth in feet is 32 feet per second squared. 
So G is one half of that, okay? So G is equal to one half of the four force of gravity of the earth in feet, which is equal to one half of 32 feet per second squared, which is equal to 16 feet per second squared. So that is what G stands for. So if I were to plug in the, those pieces of information into the equation, we have H of T is equal to negative 16 T squared plus V naught. Well, what is our V naught? Our V naught here is 64. And what is our H naught? Our H naught is 48. Okay? So this is the equation of the object's height at time t. Okay, so now let's jump right into the actual question. What is our question? Our question is, how long does it take for our object to reach a maximum height. So we wanna know how long does it take to reach this height? Well, so we're given our information here. We're given information here. Notice that this part on the right side of the equation, the right side of the equation is in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. So this means that our a is equal to negative 16, our b is equal to 64, and our c is equal to 48, okay? So to find the maximum height, or to find what time it takes for the ball to reach a maximum height, we are going to take, so we're gonna find max height, is going to be negative b over 2a. So what did we say our b, uh, our b was? Our b is 64, so that's going to be a negative 64 over two times our a, which is negative 16, which is equal to negative 64 all over negative 32, which is equal to a positive two seconds, okay? So the time it takes for the ball to reach its maximum height is at two seconds. So the next question, what is the next question? So the next question is, what is the maximum height? What is the maximum height? So to find the maximum height, you are just going to plug in the time it takes to get to the maximum height into your original equation. So I'm going to take H, of two is equal to negative 16. Everywhere that you see a T, plug in the two. So I'm going to plug in two for T here, and 64 times two plus 48, okay? So that means we have negative 16 times four plus, Four time, two times 64 is 128, and then we have our plus 48, 
Okay, and negative 16 times 4, so 4 times 6 is 24, carries a 2. 4 times 1 is 4, uh, plus a 2 is uh, 5, 6, so that's negative 64. Plus, and if I just combined these two off to the side, let me go ahead and just write this off to the side. Okay, so 8 times 8, 8 plus 8 is 16, carries a 1, 4, 5, 6, 7. 176, okay? And now we have 176 minus the 64. And we're left with 112 feet. Okay? So our maximum height is 112 feet. So if I were to fill in the picture here, um, our max height is equal to 112 feet and it happens in two seconds. Okay? And um, by the way, this is, uh, this part here is the, this is time of max height. Okay, so um, our two seconds is the time of max height. And this is, and uh, your H of two is your actual max So there you have it.